What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about AEW and this whole CM Punk mess that's spiraling out of control. Not out of control, but you know, it's pretty disappointing that CM Punk returned to the pro wrestling industry last year in his hometown of Chicago. And a year later, it's turned into this. One of the most disappointing returns in recent memory. No doubt about it. So this is a new report from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. According to Dave Meltzer, AEW and CM Punk are in talks to buy out the remaining years on his contract. The news comes less than two months after Punk, A Steel, who was recently released. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega were involved in a backstage fight following Punk's comments about the Bucks, Omega, and others at September's all-out post-event press conference. Meltzer said neither Punk or AEW commented on or denied the story. Meltzer wrote that AEW and Punk were talks about the future, but it looks doubtful he will be back. Back. Those with close knowledge of the situation said they're in talks with Punk about a buyout of the remaining years of his contract, which tells you that they are not looking to bring him back. The holdup right now is said to be the non-compete period. He wrote that the non-compete is obviously because of WWE as they are the only other group that can pay him what he would ask for. Punk is currently injured from his all-out match with John Moxley. However, with no public timetable for when he could return, the length of the disputed non-compete was not included. Meltzer pointed out there is no lock WWE would even want Punk back, even with Paul Levesque on a streak of surprise returns, noting they turned down having Punk return before despite Fox wanting them to do so. AEW has yet to publicly state anything related to the fight with Tony Khan refusing to answer questions when asked it's assumed that Omega and the Bucks were suspended following the fight while Punk is injured and can't return to action anyway it's unclear if he is still suspended despite that Punk, Omega and the Bucks were all stripped of their titles on the post all out edition of Dynamite without being mentioned by name or why the titles were stripped from them to begin with. Now I just want to dive in and share my thoughts on the whole situation so again it is very disappointing that this is what it's come to regarding the whole CM Punk return to pro wrestling many of us had dream matches that we wanted to see like CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy uh, again not that that's a match you haven't seen before that's why I had to say again some other matches that he hasn't had uh already we know he did that great program with MJF I think they had a great uh rivalry in the company some great promo action between the two as well something that we all knew they were going to do because they're two of the best on the mics but when it comes to again what I think AEW should be doing before I even talk about a potential WWE run. If we were going to ignore the fact that there's also reports out there that the, the, the energy in the backstage locker room or in the locker room is that in general, they're anti CM Punk. They're on the side of the elite, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Hangman Adam Page. They're on, this, they're on that side. They're anti CM Punk. Despite reports like that, let's ignore that regardless if it's true or not. What I would hope is that AEW would let this die down with him already being out of action. Let it die down. Try to turn this into something that would boost your ratings upon his return, such as a very dominant heel run. Not necessarily something that have, would have to betray him in the greatest light anyway, but capitalize on this and turn it into a storyline. But again, if your locker room is unhappy, Maybe that's what's what's most important to Tony Khan is keeping his locker room happy right now. Because I was thinking to myself during that scrimmage, the fact that he was so comfortable to talk like this with you around, I think that shines a light on just how much you need to improve maybe as a boss. So that way they don't get that comfortable around you because you at the end of the day are still their boss. They need to act a certain way around you. Uh, of course, obviously you guys can be cool, but to go out and talk like that and stretch it to the people that are in the back that was a little bit overkill and i get the whole frustration he had with them talking about uh Cole cabana that was that part i was okay with but then when he started extending it of course to adam page i again was on his side in terms of i get that you have to let your frustration out but now as, as time passes you also have to recognize there's a time and a place to do certain things and that was not the right time or the place because now he's in this situation. He has one of the shortest live AEW reigns after what holding the title two times now and still one of the shortest live reigns. It's very disheartening that his return ended up like this. But in regards to him potentially returning to WWE, I could see that happening. I think that, of course, even though he had beef with not only Vince McMahon and Paul Levesque, because that's the difference here between certain other returning stars. This guy had an issue with Vince and Triple H. What is different to me now though is that i think the chances of it happening are more stronger with triple h 
being in charge someone who is open to putting personal decisions or personal issues aside and working together for the sake of what's best for the business i could also see fox starting to push for cm punk to come back once again i could also see paul Heyman getting triple h's ear because we know that that's a paul Heyman. that's a paul Heyman guy we know that paul Heyman is a cm punk guy we know that they already had a program together on screen once in 2013 as well so there's so many different variables I think that could lead to us having a stronger chance of seeing Punk back in WWE. I also know that if he were to do that, you'd have some people saying he's a hypocrite. Ultimately, it's going to come down to what he thinks is best for him. Some people think it's best for him to just walk away from the business altogether because he has too big of an ego. I'm someone who thinks that if he were to return to WWE, there would be a lengthy conversation had with him about certain things that we have kind of seen addressed in promo between Triple H and CM Punk on television many years ago almost a decade ago at this point related to his ego and certain other things about how he's not happy unless he's the one at the top they will probably have a lengthy conversation about that and tell him that's not how this is going to go we are going to put our differences aside and we are going to bring you in and see where this goes but it's not going to go like this you have to you have to check that ego at the door and they will bring him in because i'm sure there's other people who would love to have cm punk back in the locker room at wwe because honestly there, there's people in that locker room that I can see CM Punk getting along with much better than the guys in the back at AEW. I just can't. With all of those guys being on the side of the elite, he has a hate train behind him. But honestly, again, a part of me is thinking AEW would be dropping the ball and losing out on a big opportunity because of the fact that I think that could help their ratings. WWE is still to this date, from my memory, still beating them in terms of ratings for their major shows anyway. So then if you have cm punk added to the mix someone who's again once once again very controversial and in the talk regarding professional wrestling and he shows up on raw or smackdown their ratings are just going to jump up even higher they're just going to jump up even higher but i think that if he were to stay in aew and you work this into a heel run for him it would also boost your ratings which again still need boost so if they lose CM Punk, that is a big loss. It doesn't it doesn't matter the circumstances around it. I would say CM Punk is still a very big draw. Regardless of why he's leaving the company, that's going to be a big loss. It's going to be a very big loss. And then for him to only potentially return to WWE, that would only enhance WWE's ratings. I would think so. And I know, again, there is no guarantee he will return. But I think the chances of him returning are stronger more than ever. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description. I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.